Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today is day one of Wand Week. So for the next seven days, I will be posting a new video all about wands. For starting with the Golden Trio, what better way to kick off Wand Week than with Harry Potter's wand? So we're gonna take a look at Harry Potter's wand and the wands of his two best friends, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger. Also in this video, we're gonna take a look at a retired noble collection item that dates back to 2004. This is a special wand display that was made to display the Golden Trio's wands. Now, all throughout Wand Week in all seven videos, I will randomly be sharing with you a letter. It's your job to collect all seven letters, and once you have all seven, if you are able to spell out the secret word, you will be entered to win a New York City Store exclusive golden snitch wand. You can only purchase this wand at the Harry Potter store in New York City, and it is absolutely beautiful. So keep watching. You never know when a letter is going to pop up in a video, and the second letter will be announced tomorrow during day two of Wand Week. Before we look at the wands, I want to talk about wand boxes. Now, all of these wands were produced by the Noble Collection. They're the premier brand when it comes to Harry Potter replicas. Their highest tier is this Ollivander replica wand box. There's ribbon on the inside and the box itself is lined in velvet. I'll show you the inside in a second. Their second tier, which is only a $1.50 less than the Ollivander replica box, is this collector's box. On the top it says the character's name, and then when you open it up, it reveals the wand. The inside is formed to the wand itself. It also comes with a metal nameplate with a clip. If you wanted to clip the nameplate on the wand itself for display purposes or clip this elsewhere, you can do that. The wands that come in these boxes as well as these boxes are the exact same. It's really just the difference of box. The downside is if you really want that metal name tag, the collectible Ollivander box does not come with it. So let me know in the comments down below if you would prefer to get the collectible wand box that comes with that metal nameplate or this Ollivander replica box for $1.50 more. My guess is that your answers are gonna be kind of mixed as I can see the benefit to having both. For me personally, I don't see myself ever using those name tags, so I will always go for the Ollivander replica collectible box. The first wand we're gonna take a look at is Mr. Harry Potter's wand. It's in this really nice maroon colored box. On the end, we have this sticker with 9632 on it, like an Ollivander's serial number. And when we open it up, it reveals that red ribbon that peels back to reveal a red velvet lined wand box. And it's red velvet fabric, not cake. And in the center of the wand box is Mr. Harry Potter's wand. This is a replica of Harry Potter's wand starting at Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Most of the wand styles changed after Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. There was a new director, Alfonso Cuaron, and Alfonso wanted to go in a different direction, and he changed a lot of the costume designs as well as the wand designs. Now this is the wand design that we see through the remaining Harry Potter films. Harry's wand feels very organic. His handle looks like a tree trunk or a branch. It has bulbs on it. You can see the wood grain. This looks like something that you would find out in your yard that fell from a tree. And then as we go from handle to the tip of the wand, it smooths out. Harry Potter's wand is made out of holly and its core is a phoenix tail feather. Now, speaking of Potter or Potter, I should say, the first letter in the secret seven letter word is O. Next up in a dark blue box, we have Ron Weasley's wand. And the end of his is a sticker with a symbol on it. Check out that shimmery ribbon. And then bam, look at that velvet. A really nice dark blue. It might be dark blue, might be purple. I'm color deficient, so purples and blues look similar to me. But the wand itself is similar to Harry's, but not quite as organic and rough looking. So we see the wood detail on the end of Ron's wand, and then the rest of it is a wavy pattern that transitions into a smooth tip. So as I rotate it, look at this portion here. See how it has like a wave pattern to the wood itself? It's like Ollivander roughly carved out pieces of it and then smoothed over his carvings to give some nice detail. I do like the organic part at the end. Again, not as rough and branch-like like Harry Potter's handle, but still some really nice detail. Ron's wand feels really nice in the hand because the bulb at the end is a nice place for your pinky to rest to stop the wand from sliding out of your hand. This gives it some stability in the hand. 
for spell casting. I like the multiple tones of brown here and some nice shading detail too. Last but not least is Hermione's wand and her case is a green color, has that same sticker on the end of the wand. And when we peel back her very shimmery ribbon, we see Hermione Granger's wand. Now Hermione's wand is made out of vine, hence the vine decor on the wand itself, and a dragon heartstring is the core. Now just like the other wands, Hermione's wand changed in movie three, and it is detailed. This is a favorite wand for a lot of Harry Potter fans with that vine detail wrapping around the wand handle itself with leaves on it and a really nice tapered look all the way to the tip of the wand. When holding the wand itself, the vines add for some nice grip. So while it doesn't necessarily have a place to stop your hand from sliding off, this does allow your hand to grip the wand really well. As I mentioned, it's a fan favorite. It's one of my favorites. Underneath the vine detail is a darker wood, so the vines really pop off of this wand. All right, let's take a look at this display. It's just a really nice tabletop wood display. There are four different metal nameplates. On the front, it says Harry Potter, has the Harry Potter logo on it. And then we see Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, and Ron Weasley nameplates in front of these velvet lined circles at the tip of each wand is going to rest. All right, so let's take Harry Potter's wand in the center and we're gonna slide it through the top and it just rests right there on the bottom. Then we have Hermione Granger's wand here and Ron Weasley's wand. I mean, how magical, how sharp does this look? This would look incredible on any shelf or table, but it is tall, it probably won't fit on most shelves, but like on a mantle or something, it would look really, really good. And again, this was released in 2004. I'm not sure if the wand display came with the wands or if you had to purchase all of them separately. I wasn't really big into Harry Potter collectibles in 2004, so if you were collecting Noble Collection items in 2004, leave a comment down below and let us know how this was sold. Was it sold individually? Was it sold as a set? I'd also love to know the original price of this piece. So if you have that information, share it with the Potter Collector community. Now you may be saying to yourself, Peter, if you didn't collect Harry Potter merchandise in 2004, how do you know that this item is from 2004? I want to show you guys a little trick to determine when your collectible piece was produced. On the bottom there, there's some copyright information and then in parentheses is an S with 04. That stands for 2004. Now you can also find dates on your wand itself. All three of these wands were produced in 2020. There's some copyright info printed on each wand and then again in parentheses is 20 which stands for 2020. So if you could only choose one of these three wands, which would you choose? Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, or Hermione Granger? Leave a comment down below. Quick reminder, the first letter in the secret word was O. Tune in tomorrow for day two to discover the second letter. Now, if you would like to purchase any of these three wands, I have left links down below in the description. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?